Let's make a quick stop into Dollar Tree and check out their clear bows in the party section. They come in so handy for fun gatherings and parties, and I just love the shapes that they come in, but I want to turn them into some cool fall decor. Woohoo! Hey everybody, I'm Susie, and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY, Channel 146, home of quick, easy, affordable, and always fun DIYs. Today is all about Dollar Tree plasticware. Let's get started right now. Come on. I just love a nice big bow, especially when it is clear, and the ones at Dollar Tree are perfect for so many things. Just by adding a simple little knob from Walmart turns it into a beautiful covering to keep away the, the flies and bugs at your next outdoor gathering. Isn't that perfect? I love it. Just put it on a plate of food and the flies stay away. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, um, you can make this cloche <laughs> with this rope from Dollar Tree. And I just wrapped it around the top and kind of cleaned it all up with the fire. And I got these knobs from Amazon and I'll link them down below. I just wanted some real decorative ones that didn't already have the screw coming out of it. So I just hot glued it right on top and look how this turned out. Just a little fall touch. I think it's gonna be lovely for pumpkins and all kinds of things. Even this, look at the Dollar Tree clear platter underneath. And I have this one that I got at a thrift store. Look how fall that is, love it. Then I thought I'm just gonna add a little more touch and I decided to use some more rope. I put three layers down on the bottom. What do you think about this touch? And for this rope, it is from Amazon. It's a little bit smaller, but they do have smaller uh, rope at Dollar Tree as well. Just check it out and see if you can find it. Then I took the Dollar Tree platter and I thought, let's spray paint it. So I took some chestnut brown and some gold and kind of just threw it all on there together and look how stunning. Perfect for fall. And then I had another idea. I am using the hamburger patty, patty press over in the kitchen section at Dollar Tree. It makes a perfect handle for this dome or cloche and I just wrapped it with twine. It took just a little bit to wrap and I just used hot glue on it. And then I used some fire to get rid of those little extra strings, make it look really nice. And then I added a lot of hot glue so that it will run down inside there. And it worked great. And wow, how awesome is this? It worked out beautiful. You can add so many toppers to your domes. Here are some seashells for summer. Here are some little plastic pumpkins. And then for Christmas, you can use even some ornaments or whatever you have. I can't wait, because I'm gonna use this again in some other seasons. So for now, I just grabbed this white pumpkin and a charger from Dollar Tree. Don't you love that color? And look at that, how beautiful. And then just keep going, just keep going with it. Here's a stand, I used a circle. Um, this is just for purposes to show you. You could spray paint it black if you want to, hot glue it on there, just like that. But I actually had this stand that I got at a thrift store and I can just set it on there. I don't even have to glue it and look how beautiful. And I am so excited. Look at this one, it is so simple. Just the clear, beautiful um, pattern on these white ones, these clear ones. A little knob from Walmart. How simple and how elegant to bring your beautiful pie for Christmas or whatever season. And for this one, I styled it with some fall floral stems, some pine cones, a uh, pumpkin, and one of the wooden word cutouts. I just stuck it right in there. Wouldn't a pumpkin pie look stunning in this dome? You'll be a hit at your Thanksgiving gathering. 
And then on the rope dome, it looks great with these fake apples that I purchased on Amazon. And then I just added a little bit of greenery. Don't you think some lemons would look great too? We are just easing into the fall season. And what do you know? Here are some lemons now. They look stunning with this super cool handle. Nobody would know that that is a plastic hamburger patty press. Shh, don't tell. And then here is the clear plastic platter and bowl upside down with the crystal knob. It's perfect to add some Christmas candy in there, beautiful ornaments, or even some Christmas greenery. The ideas are endless. I think this scalloped container is my favorite of all the plastic wear at Dollar Tree. When you see it, grab it. You can use it for so many things. But today I grabbed some orange spray paint and gave it a good coat and uh, also used the hamburger press uh, handle uh, like I did before and I spray painted it black. I'm using this um, adhesive uh, cork board kind of stuff and my handy dandy shoe polish. I love that stuff. It does come in so handy. And I just painted a little bit of it black. And I also made this stand using the Dollar Tree candle holder with a round piece of wood, hot glued that together. And then I just painted it black with the uh, shoe polish. So here I was just kind of deciding which color I liked. I thought I'd try the, the plain raw look, but I just didn't, no, it just didn't go. So I ended up using my black, the one I painted with the shoe polish, and it came out great. So easy to put together. How cute is that? I just love him. I love that scallop finish at the bottom. So I also grabbed some of this beautiful new Halloween ribbon from Dollar Tree. It's got the wire in it. Just made a real quick simple bow, just a shoestring bow and some raffia on there. Clipped it on, hot glued it to the handle and boom, look how this turned out. I put in one of those remote control candles, flickering candles. It is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to put this in a window or wherever for Halloween. How cute and easy. And here come a few more scalloped container ideas. I did this one late in the spring using some dirt, rocks, pebbles, and some succulents all from Dollar Tree. And you could do the same with the cylinder one too. But for this one, I grabbed these terracotta bowls at Walmart and spray painted one black. I also picked up this haunted house from Dollar Tree and a hamburger press and a pumpkin and then these little um, uh, word uh, tiles and put on the word boo at the bottom. I love this. It's so easy. It's like a little haunted cloche. So I added those on there with a little bit of uh, the moss from Dollar Tree and then just stuck it all in there. Look how this turned out. I also added some little fairy lights in the background. How cute and festive is this? You could also tie a buffalo check ribbon at the top or just leave it plain like this. For this next idea, I added some Dollar Tree thick rope to the top and then added some smaller rope around this styrofoam ball, glued it on top, and then you can add anything inside that you like. I grabbed one of these beautiful gold pumpkins from Dollar Tree and some of their beautiful fall florals. I love how that turned out. And then this one is one of these motion detector lights. How cute is that? It says, Happy Halloween. It's so cute. Here is a pumpkin that I got at Hobby Lobby. I mean, the ideas are endless. Even some greenery. Ooh, I love it. This 
nuclear container is kind of sideways and here are a few inspirational ideas to get you started. I'm just using some fall florals. I love the colors, that blue and then some uh, greenery there and some of the clip-on uh, leather pumpkins and a few rocks down at the bottom. Threw it all together and this is how it turned out. I wanted to make sure all the florals stayed to one side and uh, the pumpkins on the other to accentuate that sideways look of the container. I just think it is so unique, beautiful, and truly gets you started for fall. Another easy idea is using this stone paint, textured paint uh, from Rust-Oleum on the sideways little uh, container. I did add some rope to the top with a wooden bead and then I cut out some more eyes and a spooky mouth for this ghost. And I even added some fairy lights in there. You could add any face that you like. Spooky! <laughs> and then just a couple of more ideas. Um, have you seen these gorgeous baskets at Dollar Tree? Ooh, pick them up if you find them. Um, this one has white at the top, and I just hot glued it on the bottom of the sideways container. It fit perfectly. It looks like it was made for each other. Then I had some um, of that potpourri. It came with the little balls there, and then I just added some wooden beads and um, some pumpkins. Look how that turned out. Very different, I like it, and it smells so great. And then this one, I just took out the beads and left it like that. I love how that turned out, beautiful. I love the shapes of these plastic bowls, a trifle container, and then this shape, it just said bowl on it. <laughs> For the trifle bowl, I'm just going to use this awesome stuff from Walmart. It's already prepared cement. You just open it up and it's ready. So I thought, let's try it on this plastic bowl. It was $9, but I will be totally using this again and again throughout the fall and winter season. The one thing about it, it is not waterproof, but you just smear it on. You could do a couple of coats if you wanted to but it was super easy to do and adhered to the plastic very nicely. I wanted it to have a more smooth finish, so I took this sponge brush and gently tapped all those rougher edges down. This worked perfectly and I really love the raw color of this cement. It looked really cool just like that I kind of wish I would have just kept it that way now that I look at it but maybe add another coat but I did pull out my black paint and I gave it one coat this is totally your preference whatever color you like oh I just thought this would be perfect for a witch's brew cauldron right Hmm, that just gave me some ideas. Okay, I'm writing that down. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to use this floral foam and some, and just hot glue it in. And then I'm going to use some reindeer moss from Dollar Tree. They have it there. Or I had some from, I think I got this one from Amazon, but whatever moss that you have. And then Dollar Tree also has the moss pebbles. And they're smaller but I wanted some bigger ones, so I got mine at Amazon. Okay, so check out this moss bowl, $200. Can you even imagine? I think it's because of it had the wooden, is a wooden bowl, but these things are extremely popular now, and I just love the look of them. They are uh, all year round, or I think perfect for fall. But this came out stunning. I absolutely love the shape of this bowl and I am gonna be using it again. Look at all these different kinds of moss bowls that they have. Wooden ones, ceramic, long, 
long ones. And I think I really would like to order some moss, some like real life moss and try to grow it. So this bowl I'm going to use instead of the cement, I'm going to be using this caulk. And while I'm doing that, check out Martha Stewart. She uses some uh, old wood stumps or tree stumps. Those are really cool. Love to try that out. Okay, so for this one, I really liked the raw edges and I'm using the sponge brush to kind of twist it around and give it sort of a little kind of pattern. I actually hot glued two of them together and made a taller one. And I'm taking some gray paint, whatever you have. I think this was elephant paint and some white paint. I kind of mixed it together and just dab that all over. I did the exact same technique as I did with the black bowl and added these to the top. Now, while I love them both, I did take the taller one and I added rope around it. Somehow, I just, I don't know, I just like this rope. I think it looks great. And this is how it turned out. Ta-da! I absolutely love the shape of this bowl. I love the caulk. You could also use cement on this bowl. But the moss, I tell you, I love that stuff. And here is the rope one. I think it looks great against the uh, orange pumpkins. It's just beautiful. And once again, I think you can use it all year round. Okay, so this last little surprise I have for you is this clear dish and it's from the garden section and they still have these out right now at Dollar Tree and it's not in the party section. But I have to show you what sparked my whole idea about this. Um, in my front porch, I always keep out a water bowl for my cat and um, but one morning I saw a friend in there. Yes, that's right. It was a little frog, so I named him Kermit. And then I thought, wow, let's turn this into Car Kermit's little swimming hole. So I just took the dish and poured in a few rocks, grabbed a succulent and some of these fake little greenery things. Just wanted to make it a fun home for him. And I thought, well, let's see. It's just so hot here. I thought, let's try it out. So I added a little bit of water in there and I actually found some mealworms on Amazon and added those in there. And this is where I found out that he's staying a little hole underneath my sidewalk. Three days later. Yes, that's right. Three days later and look, he is enjoying his fun swimming pool. I love it. It was about 7.30 in the morning. I woke up quick grab my phone just to see he might have been in there earlier i don't know um but he loves it i put some mealworms in there and i am so excited this clear bowl could bring kermit some happiness and there he is at the bottom of your screen you see him and he is jumping in his hole bye for now kermit well, I hope you enjoyed all of these clear bowl ideas and inspirations to lead us into fall and even into the Christmas and Halloween uh, seasons. It's getting exciting out there. And I just want to tell you that, yes, I've been out for a few months and, um, you know, just things come up and I don't know if any of y'all know, but I do take care of my mom. She is fixing to turn 95 in September. She is lovely, a uh, firework, and we just do lots of things together. And sometimes it is really difficult to keep my schedule for all of this. We have lots of doctor visits and things like that. So I hope you can bear with me and I appreciate it. I really haven't commented on a lot of my um, comments and I hate that it's not like me but I hope that you stay tuned because I'm really gonna try to keep up with all of my projects I have so many coming up for fall and Christmas and Halloween and I don't want you to miss any of them 
So I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed all of these ideas this time. I had so many. And for little Kermit, I'll give you a check in here and there to see how he's doing. He loves his mealworms, let me tell you. And so I just want to thank you. Watch this other video from fall and always stay tuned to Susie's stuff. KDIY channel 146. Bye everybody.